when you want a query in access to prompt for input every time you run it, you can create a parameter query. A parameter query is an interactive query that prompts you for criteria before the query is run. Parameters can be used directly in the criteria or as part of a larger expression to form a criteria in the query. You can add parameters to many types of queries, select, cross tab, append, make table and update. Creating a parameter is like adding a normal criteria to a query. On the create tab in the queries group, click on query design, add the tables orders and customers, add the fields order ID, first name, last name, order date, order total and region. In the criteria row of a field for which you want a parameter prompt, type the text that you want the parameter dialog box to display enclosed in square brackets. For example, to get the list of orders placed on a particular date, enter this parameter in the criteria row of order date field. Enter order date in square brackets. The square brackets indicate that you want the query to prompt for input. Run the query, enter parameter value dialog box opens. Text you typed inside the brackets appears in the dialog box. The parameter value dialog box lets you specify the criteria each time you run the query. Enter a valid date, for example, 1-1-2022. Click on OK to confirm. The query returns list of orders placed on 1-1-2022. Go back to design view and run the query. Now enter 1-2-2022. Query returns orders placed on 1-2-2022. You can use multiple parameters in a query. To get orders for a specific region on a particular date, Enter parameters in order date and region fields. Enter which region in the criteria row of region field. When you run the query, you will be prompted for both an order date and region. The prompts are generated in order of fields from left to right. Run the query. Access first prompts for order date Enter 1-1-2022. Click on OK. Now access prompts for region. Enter West. Query returns orders on 1-1-2022 in the West region. You can combine parameter prompts with any operator you normally use in a query. Using parameters in conjunction with the standard operators allows you to dynamically expand or contract the filters in your analysis without rebuilding the query. For example, build a query that uses between AND operator and the greater than operator. For example, to get orders placed between two dates and order total greater than a particular value, enter this expression in the order date field. And in the order total field, enter this expression. Since there are three parameter prompts, start date, end date, and order total in this query, you will be prompted for inputs three times. Once for start date, once for end date, and once for order total. Run the query. Enter 1-1-2021 for start date. Click on OK. Enter 12-31-2021 for end date and 500 for order total. Click on OK. The query returns orders placed between January 1st, 2021 and December 31st, 2021 and order total is greater than 500. Using an asterisk wildcard with a parameter also allows users to enter a partial value and still get results. For example, enter this expression in the last name field. Run the query. Entering A as the parameter would return all last names that start with the letter A. 
you can use parameters anywhere you use a variable. You can use parameters in calculations enabling you to change the calculation variables each time you run the query. For example, let us analyze how a price increase will affect current prices based on the percent increase you enter. In the field row, right click on an empty column and then click on zoom in the shortcut menu. Enter this expression. If field names enclosed between square brackets are used in the expression, the values from that field are used in the calculation. Run the query. Enter a percentage by which you want to increase your prices. For example, enter 10. The value is used as variable in the calculation. The new price is listed in the price increase column. You can also use parameters as arguments in functions instead of hard-coded values. For example, to calculate the age of students on the day of the exam, use this expression. Run the query. You will be prompted for an exam date. This date will then be used as argument in the date diff function. Enter 5-2-2022. Click on OK. The query returns the age of the students in years on 5-2-2022. This allows you to specify new exam dates each time you run the query without ever having to rebuild the query. If you use the same parameter multiple times in a query, access prompts only once for the parameter. In the next column, enter this expression. We are using the same exam date parameter multiple times. Run the query. Exam date need to be entered only one time. Age is returned in years and months. You can also specify what type of data a parameter should accept. You can specify the data type for any parameter, but it is especially important to specify the data type for numeric, currency, or date time data. When you specify the data type that a parameter should accept, users see a more helpful error message if they enter the wrong type of data. For example, enter order total less than and which region in the criteria row of order total and region fields. Enter text for order total instead of numeric value. Access shows an error message which is difficult to understand. To specify the data type for parameters in a query on the design tab, in the show height group, click on parameters. In the query parameters box, in the parameter column, enter the prompt for each parameter you want to specify a data type for. Make sure that each parameter matches the prompt that you used in the criteria row of the query design grid. In the data type column, select the data type for each parameter. Enter order total less than in the parameter column. In the data type column, select currency. Enter which region in the parameters column. Select short text in the data type. Run the query. In the order total prompt, enter text. Click on OK. Access gives a more helpful error message. Click on OK. Enter 3000 and click on OK. Enter West and click on OK. Query returns orders where order total is less than 3000 and from West region. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.